Greetings and welcome troops to another episode of Let's Play Our Regiments. When the last left off, we were finally up to the Usla Valley. Let's see the operation log. Okay, Alright, so we have read those. So we got some of our strong points back. Nice. Got plenty of operational authority, so I can go to town on some stuff. Phase 6. Valley of the Shadow of Death. Your current position rapidly becomes untenable. Corps HQ is setting up a new defensive line in front of Paderborn. Your Kampfgruppe is tasked to cover the retreat of the 4th Panzer Infantry Brigade remnants. Their comms network is non-existent and the ammo is nearly absent, so don't expect them to put up much of a fight. Keep the main road open at all times. So it's not exactly an escort mission, but we do need to hold the line. The enemy will come at us from several different directions. So we will need to be uh, on our toes, at least a little bit. Uh, I will want a bit more deployment points. I don't just don't have the, uh, the currency to do that. You know what, let's just upgrade, get the better tanks. And I think I want some more engineer support. Nothing I can restore. Do we have enough reserves to make it work? Let's go to events. Right, next phase is in one stage, so I'm gonna go with the positive ones. One, and let's go to battle. It's eight o'clock. Let's see if we can hold the line. Right. Withdrawing allied units will arrive here. And we'll proceed to here. Victory points will be granted for each unit that successfully reaches the exit. Alright. Now the big problem. So... Most of the fighting that I have seen will take place around this ish era area. Here is where we need to hold the line the most. It's not the only area of attack, however, as the enemy will be coming from here, here, and some from here. So I will need to at least keep an eye on this area, and most of my defense will stand center on this particular reach, but likely an attack will come from this way at some point so i kind of would like to hold this pond to make sure that the enemy cannot make inroads because i kind of do want to keep all the uh, points uh, although again this is a single phase so this chevron makes me think i can expand this to see what else is going on the artillery branch i hopefully hope will work will be very much cheaper than anything else. Alright, so let us begin with the setup. Well, definitely want to get my experienced tanks up here. <coughs> Jaguars, definitely. Need to be deployed here. Um, I had great fun with the Scorpions. We'll set up supply here for now. That's about as much as we can expect from the supplies we have. Uh, I don't know how much we're gonna need air support, but... Right. Let's go with the Gepards for this one. Uh, we'll definitely get the Experience Leo ones. And you will be stationed up here. Actually, do this slightly back the other way around. So you will deploy with full ammo.
And... Mod is over there. Keep the scorpions in the woods for now. Don't want to expose to direct fire. Mm. Alright, what else? Uh, let's create the command units. Uh, I'm not gonna get much use out of my planes, I'm afraid. Um, let's get some Leos over on this side as well. Alright, and let us. Set up some points over here. Right, so I kind of want to make sure that I keep an eye on this place. And for the sake of convenience. Tank units. Let's get a strong point over here. Let's make it as hard as possible for them to reach. Similarly, I want to make sure that I have some defenses to prevent an easy breach. Also get an observation post. Uh, I would like strong point strong point observation post. Rest is I just I have to do. And who else do I want to deploy? <laughs> Kinda need fast response units. But I also would like some support. And mortar support will have to do. Uh let's Put you up over here though. A little bit more forwards. And other than that, let's get some looks. We might need to respond to stuff. Alright, let us go. Uh, let's not be standing on top of each other too much. Not saying that this is the best way to deploy, just that this is how I am deploying. I mean, losing Dazzle Farm or Pond is not an immediate failure, but if I can for force them to waste point uh, uh, units on, defend on attacking this stuff, and possibly losing some, that's definitely in my favor. Might have supply issues though, but until this ticks up to about 400, it's not really worth it to waste the supply just yet. Just hope that we have good enough positions. Let's reposition you over here because I couldn't before. Yeah. 
putting my layers in the woods may not be the most advantageous because I kind of need them to be able to spring forward at the moment's notice. They can now dig themselves in. Alright, here come the first Belgian units. We have only divisional tyranny to help us. Nothing specifically against us, luckily. Uh, let's hope fortune favors us today. Right, fully entrenched. The, you have yeah, your full vision of whatever comes beyond this hill. Uh, small patch of woodland that you can't see. Yeah, I mean, if it, as long as they don't rush up the hill, fine. Oh, we got incoming over here. E seven sixty fours, EGR seventy. So not the greatest of assaults, but I guess it can be a problem. Alright, let's rush up a little bit of support then. Emphasis on little, I want this road to be open and this is adequate defense-ish. The 80s, yeah, we're not good to deal with that. Alright, Jaguars, we need you. And we have incoming over here.
looks like my static defenses here are holding. Beating. Way more aggressive on this side than I expected them to be. Oh well. And it's not an unclever strategy. Throwing away my forces. Resistance. Oh. And again, some fossilers. these cutscenes. No need to panic just yet. These are also artillery pieces. Right, let's move up some supply. Thank you for leaving these artillery pieces unguarded and in the open. All right, fall back this way. Bomb is safe for now. 
or the, the pond. And we still have troops moving in. I think the enemy is not quite in a position to really maintain locations like this. And our other places are protected, so we can hold if needed. Do I need anything else? I need my Jaguars back. Most of the rest of this I don't need to be too worried about. I can hold the vessel farm a little bit longer, then the enemy cannot take any of these places so the roads don't become blocked. It's a little bit more difficult over here. But the enemy still would need at least two locations in order to block this one. So holding the hill is the most important part. That is... Well, actually, no, that's not entirely true. They could try to take this position from because of this point. Zone captured. You uh, fast move over here so you can restore yourself. And uh, once the supplies arrive, because which of course will take some time. I believe they are moving as fast as they can. But the roads are clogged with friendlies retreating, so... Yes. How much do you have left? 26%. Not great. All right. Uh, resume your position in the woods. Almighty Panzers in the woods. Victory point still streaming in, and a little over five minutes left. I think we can do this, depending a bit on where the next assault comes. Admittedly, I was expecting a little bit more coming from this side. Right, you have arrived in that case, you can move into the place, pick up a defensive position. Videos have arrived. And if nothing else, this will be the most experienced fighting force in the entire NATO army at this rate. I don't think the HQ has. Uh, that's an ammo. Five minutes remain. But doesn't have really anything else. But it's also not meant to do anything else. It's just meant to boost the uh, levels of my uh, of his friendlies. An accuracy of above a hundred percent, always nice. And then we're using the road to speed along. Should be at least one more assault coming in. Where I don't know. Alright, yeah, deploy. Oh, we have sight. Beyond sight. Uh, Alright. Time for our gaplets to show shine. That's definitely artillery. Go 
Go, go, go. Hopefully they hit something. Yes! I think that's a hat trick. I'm guessing at the correct term for that. A turkey. Something like that. And something blew up over here. At least one enemy artillery piece. Uh, probably... Empty air. Right, let's be do a little bit of our surprise. Ilkas, BMPs, all right, not the worst. And let's move our commander up a bit. Yeah, a bit of an anemic attack. Not that I mind, mind you. those three attacks had come at the same time, I would have been concerned, but as it is, we are definitely, definitely in the clear. Let's just resupply. wonder if command units get experience points based on the kills of anything within that radius. I don't know actually, I've tried it yet. Most of my, uh, most of the command units I've had so far have One been, you know, tanks, so they've been able to shoot. Boy. I don't think the enemy is coming further. And it looks like all the rest of the convoy has been managed to get across. I think that was a successful defense. How much points we scored with that. Hey! Alright, so we lost only six people at the 70 on the enemies. Five vehicles lost. Yep, yeah, that is true. Overall, a relatively small attack. Alright, next phase. Hmm. Guessing we have one more to go then. The Valley of the Shadow of Death. Alright, we've already seen that. So I guess we have one more round to go. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time. If you enjoy my content, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all then. Bye.